a canoe in arc. Conquest servers are now live. And do we have a new tier above tech? You're right, kids. It's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, the breaking news first Wildcard dropped a new image of the canoe, something that was teased at in the extra live stream last year, and we now get a further glimpse at it, where it possibly details more than you think. And the subtext with it is have a joyride with the tribe or go for a relaxing fishing session. Convenience is key with a canoe that can be picked up and placed down in any body of water and is great for storing your consumables and freshly caught fish. So what can we take from this? Admittedly, when I first saw this, I thought it was very odd to bring in such a primitive thing into Ark in a seemingly very tech-based map. However, I've got a few theories as to why this is going to be a thing you're going to need in Ark Genesis Part 2. Firstly, of course, we can see this is in what perhaps is going to be the Rockwell's Garden. It looks very similar to the original map concept artwork we saw in the first place, and Rockwell's Garden is touted as a very hazardous environment. So, my assumption is that water you see there is hazardous. Because, let's face it, normally any water you need to cross, you just do it on foot. You'd swim from one end to the other, and wouldn't really consider any sort of way to transport across. And even a creature would do the job, so why a canoe? Why a canoe that you can pick up and drop down whenever you want to? Obviously being a big advancement from the raft, that you can of course place down wherever you want, but once placed down, that's it, it's locked in place. Meaning you might be traversing across many spans of water. And the only answer as to why you would need this over anything else is the water must be hazardous. We can see it's a nice shade of pink, which alludes to the elemental water in Aberration, and I'm going to guess that is the case. On top of that, coincidentally there's someone there in a Federation tech suit, which of course the devs have gone on record to say that you can use to fly around right from the off. So I'm assuming in Rockwell's garden biome, you don't have the ability to fly. That's my guess and you can only traverse in this biome on land. Furthermore, we can see piranhas and what appears to be a spino in the water which if this is hazardous elemental water is a big one because of course that would damage the piranhas and the spino. So perhaps these are new variations of the creatures that we know. Elemental type creatures? It's a possibility and I do believe this could be it. On top of that of course you can store items in the canoe. So it seems like Wildcard are expecting us to use these quite often to keep stuff in the canoes. It has to be that you're grounded and not allowed to enter the water in this biome. That at least makes some sense as to why this is being brought in into a very tech based map. And it seems that you can catch fish from it and is that going to possibly operate by using a fishnet? Personally what I think it's going to be is a reduced spoil timer for your fish that you can store in your canoe and it won't spoil as quick as it normally would elsewhere. And lastly, does that flower type thing in the background allude to anything? I've been trying to figure out if it has any importance, but I can't see anything yet. It does appear to be a very big plant that possibly contains some spores that perhaps are the reason as to why this biome is so hazardous. Perhaps these flowers there in the background emanate spores, think like the ones in the bog biome in Genesis that when you get too close you become poisoned, but perhaps are the reason as to why this is so hazardous. A lot of speculation there I know, and I'm interested to see what your theories are. Drop a comment below, let me know. And again, not long to go now, we are under one month until Genesis Part 2 drops. 26th of May, it's coming. As penned in on the logo, on the artwork, and every other piece of artwork for Genesis Part 2. Conquest Season 3 is now live on PC. It's very much the arc you know, but under certain criteria. With two times experience, no cave building, scaling of weapon damage has been reduced, tribes are set to 25 players max, with no alliances, and interestingly no dino unclaiming, meaning they're very much targeting this to be a no teaming game mode. Added more so by the new rule they introduced just yesterday that there will be a 24 hour cooldown on tribe slot reuse. So if you kick anyone from your tribe, that tribe slot will be greyed out for 24 hours and you won't be able to add anyone into it until that 24 hours is cooled down. Which is a great feature to have to stop teaming and I personally have these on my own unofficial server. 
But if you're on PC, you're up for some PvP, you're up for some map domination. Conquest Season 3, it's up live today at 10am Pacific. Get involved and get conquering. So in my last video, we noticed that the tech crop plot had now been renamed the Federation crop plot. Above that, the word Federation is being used more and more in everything in Genesis Part 2. Now, originally I overlooked this, but a Mr. Dark Dayo left a comment on my video saying maybe Federation is a new tier that will be above tech. And then to possibly confirm it, said the lead community manager wrote in the official ARC Discord, tech is 2020, Federation is 2021. To which somebody replied, oh, does this entail a whole new tier of structures and materials, like a step up from element? And then said jokes around, this is why I don't come into the chat, now I'm fired. Could it be that we are going to see a new Federation tier? It could be said, just joking around, he likes to have a laugh. It wouldn't be the first time, but perhaps there's actually some truth here. In my opinion, I do think it's not a stretch to say there's going to be a Federation tier of sorts. A whole structures tier that's better than tech? I doubt it. I'm not expecting a range as big as that. They would have teased that by now. But I'm thinking all of these new tech things that we're seeing, like the tech pistol, the tech bow, the hover sail, the remote camera security system, the egg incubator, and of course the tech crop plot, as well as perhaps other things we haven't seen yet, are going to fall into this new federation tier. Which of course you'll unlock by beating the map's buses, or possibly mini buses. I did do a video on this before, go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description, to unlock the final and last federation tier. Thanks all for watching, what did you think? Drop a comment below, let me know. What are your theories? Do you think the Federation tier is a thing? Are you looking forward to the canoe? My name's Ross Clark, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always, peace out.